Okay, so here we are in the boys' flight. So let's do a quick show recap. Um, so some of the things that I learned. First of all, condition is everything. So uh, the only one of my birds that was really in good condition for showing was, where is he? There he is, Peabody here. Um, Peabody uh, finished the mulch like a week, week and a half ago and he has all of his feathers and they're smooth and they're clean and they look good. The only reason he didn't score well is because the standards for spangles are that they're supposed to have round circle spots. Now, blue, for instance, has regular circular spots. On a spangle, those spots are supposed to be hollow. So it's literally like a circle drawn on their feather that's, that's um, an outline of a spot. Um, Bluebird does, I mean, uh, Peabody here doesn't have those, so he took a big hit for that. And he lost out to a bird that was smaller than he was, did not have as good a shape as he did, um, and didn't have any better feather than he did either. So apparently spots are a big deal. But also everybody has told me every judge is different. So uh, you never know. Um, and Peabody's only eight months old. He was born in October, so he's either eight or nine months old. So um, considering that um, every other, the birds, the other guy's birds were all well over a year old, some of them two years old, um, Peabody held his own, and he's going to get more size and be more respectable. Little Boo Bird here, okay, here's the other thing I learned. You don't, we can't show baby birds. Um, Boo Bird's five months, my little um, oval, um, olive boy down there is four months, and they were terrified the whole time. Um, I suspect what was going on is that they're babies, and when they heard all those adult males singing territorial songs, they were afraid they were going to get beat up. Whereas Peabody, who is eight or nine months old, was much calmer and more confident, and on top of that, um, Haverty was actually singing his territory song right back at everybody else. So clearly the older birds are psychologically better uh, um, equipped to deal with the um, stresses of the show bench. So I won't take babies again. Live and learn. Um, my little guy down, yeah, my little, where'd he go? My little olive guy down here. So here's something that came up. Um, the guy said he's not really an olive, he's a dark green. Well, that's news to me. Um, if he's a, if he's not, if he's a dark green, then what is his brother over here who's a spangle? Where'd he go? See how dark his green is? Now this brother is a light green. Well, you can't really see it because the light is bad, but you see how light his green is? It says some vibrant, light lime green. His brother, his spangle brother is not that. He doesn't have that. So if the other guy's a light green and this guy is a dark green, then what's this guy? <laughs> okay? I need more information. Um, Boober did really well, to my surprise, because he had his little spots on his face and because Boobird is huge. So get your tail out of my face. Terrible birdie. Um, because Boobird is huge for his age. Um, also, the judge did not acknowledge that my little green guy was a young bird. He just missed it completely and judged him as an adult and said that Boobird was the only young bird on the, on the bench. Um, now you can't argue with a judge. Because, um, well, because it'd be like arguing with an umpire, it ain't gonna happen. Um, but the other thing is um, that it, who owns the bird is supposed to be anonymous in a show so that nobody can accuse the guy of playing favorites. So if I were to walk up and say, hey, this is a baby bird too, um, it would have disqualified my bird. So there was no point. So, um, so yeah, that's things that I learned. Um, the other thing that was interesting was how long the judges deliberated over Haverty and the sky blue spangle that eventually beat him out. They talked and talked and talked, clearly arguing over it. Then they moved on to another bird and then they circled back and argued some more. Um, Haverty was the superior bird, but he was not in condition. The thing about Haverty is he does have those um, there's a circular, the in, what they call an inverted spot on his necklace. He has them. He has three of them. 
Um, and they so wanted to give him all the points for that, but his condition was so lousy they just couldn't get away with it. So they gave the other bird the win. But what that tells me is that... Um, oh, and the other thing is we showed quite respectably as far as size goes. Now remember, every single one of those other birds up there on the bench were at least a year, if not two years old. Um, and Haverty was my oldest bird at 11 months. Peabody is eight months, and these little guys are four months. And they, they stood their ground on the size thing. Um, and they're not done yet. They'll get bigger. So um, I'm pleased with that. Uh, now, obviously, the, the bird that won was bigger than any bird that I had on the bench by a significant margin. But the other nine birds, mine fit right in. So um, I'm not too far off base as far as size goes. Really? Light green and a dark green? What would an olive look like then? Look at their backs. I don't know. What's this guy? Look at, you, you can see all three of them together. Is he a dark green too? I don't know. Okay, so that's recap from the show. Um, and let's go over and take a look in the breeding shed.